I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now, Cancer, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to look up at a look at at a later point if you like. But when it comes to any of my readings, uh, I'm Kaji Scorpio. When it comes to any of my readings, Cancer, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards. That resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever cancer if you find some cards that resonate with you be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones did just because i enjoy keeping up with y'all in the comments and hearing about how the cards resonate with you in your life and just how they all correlate is just one interesting to me but yeah i just enjoy um, hearing about it if you find some cards that resonate with you cancer also be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help with help out this channel a lot i am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me and then finally cancer oops uh over here <laughs> i apologize i'm not pulling some cards for you uh this reading's here just to give you some perspective i'm not here to make a decision in your life ultimately it's your life to live not mine the decision is yours to make so with all that being said cancer let's start getting into your reading i pulled uh two tarot cards for you as well as the uh, oracle moon card and your oracle moon card you if any of you cancers noticed i was smiling earlier and while i was doing the intro and it's because of this new moon and cancer it's your new moon uh cancer so for the for this to be your overall energy it, this is really go at you like you're stepping into a new phase uh cancer you, um and i kind of feel like it's all encompassing right we just had this for in regards to like your career cancer then i'd be like okay like maybe you're going into a new job right good news right big stuff still but it's not like life changing. well i guess it could be life changing but it's not all encompassing i guess this is kind of letting me know i feel like it's all encompassing you're going through like some of you uh cancers you might just feel like you've been going through an awakening process which i probably i feel like started for you feel like that started probably sometime uh, at the beginning of this year that you probably really have started seeing things um go forward and uh the wheels turning in that way i suppose cancer and then the two tarot cards that i pulled for you for your overall energy is the eight of wands and the ace of wands so you this has been just like a place of claiming your power uh right i don't think i ever addressed the new moon card by the way you and your loved ones are safe so it is just adding just like an affirmation that i would i usually associate that card when a uh, spirit wants to just let you know that they have your back essentially in that you're taking care of um so back to this though cancer the eight of wands and the ace of wands very powerful cards just because for again for your general energy just because ace of wands forward movement right uh especially especially passionate energy uh when it is just with the wands and when you have two of them very very good right very fiery energy um this probably has to you're just feeling inspired right now uh, cancer it's almost like you're realizing like the world is your oyster i won't be surprised if we pull the magician card because i feel like that's what you're feeling like right now cancer is like a magician of your own world where you're really in this place of just creating tapping into your own uh tapping into your potential and really pushing yourself cancer you probably don't recognize yourself or can't really relate to who you used to be like maybe even like three months ago right i really do feel like you're just in this place of really tapping into yourself really probably having like a i know it sounds cheesy and it's probably such an overused word cancer but you feel like you probably are going through some type of awakening process right so all that being said fabulous cards for your general messages uh cancer so let's start getting into the career side of things for you now for my cancers that are interested in their career and finances now cancer i do a row for your career your finances i do a row for your social situation right platonic or romantic and then i just do general messages um from your spirit guides ancestors whatever it is you choose to subscribe to so i already started your cards for your career uh we have two uh, pentacles for you cancer so and this makes sense you're going through this awakening process you're tapping into um, realizing more of your own potential 
uh, cancer. And probably because of this, it's you're left with the question of, do you want to continue doing the same thing that you've been doing, right? Or do you want to go into something new? Um, even in regards to the workplace, you probably are being put up with this position of maybe it's a weird message, but I just feel like maybe for some of you cancers, this need to stand up for yourself. Um, and just like, you're probably tossing around the idea of just being like speaking up almost in some sense, because the two of pentacles is a representation of like, a, dealing with some chaos in your life as well. So but I don't see this as a bad thing. I feel like there's just like, um, I'll tell you, so I'll like tell a quick thing about myself, Cancer. Whenever I first took the leap of faith to really just make tarot, like make a living off of tarot for full time and like quit my old job, I never would have done it if my life and my career at my workplace wasn't making me extremely uncomfortable. And it happened in a rapid progression where it's just like all my friends who I worked with in the night shift um, were either transitioning and so on. Like a lot of shifts were just happening, a lot of changes at work were happening a lot of chaos was happening in the workplace that i took that as a sign from spirit trying to push me away push me into a new direction i feel like it's probably like the same thing for you cancer i apologize for making it about myself but i always speak in examples and i feel like i can relate to this energy and so i wanted to use myself as the example back of the deck energy this is confirming to me where you are going back and forth with choices knight of swords knight of swords is that energy of where you, it's just you're dealing with like you're just constantly back and forth with you know, a little bit indecisive um because i don't feel like it's indecisive of um necessarily your own doing i feel like it's indecisiveness just because it's um it's big changes right i feel like it's in this place of really figuring out the bal you're probably trying to figure out the balance between putting yourself first and making sure that you're feeling fulfilled while also sustaining yourself and making sure while you're being fulfilled that also is enough to be sustaining to you um even financially right because it's all well and dandy to feel fulfilled and feeling passionate but that passion doesn't sometimes feed <laughs> feed you right uh the cards the clarifiers that i pulled for you for your two of pentacles cancer we have the seven of swords so all your cards dealing with chaos i i i enjoy it as a tarot reader cancer when i see these two cards paired together because i kind of see them kind of in the same two of pentacles lets me know of the chaos and juggling with things um in the physical because of the pentacles deals with like physical energy stuff that's already kind of around you in your physical environment uh, cancer and then the seven of swords is usually matters with the mind right i use this as where it's just like it's like trying to make only one trip from the car to the house with your groceries so you try to take all the groceries that you can at once cancer to try to make one trip and it's just like it's a mess like the carrots are falling out like stuff is just falling out everywhere um right and it's just that's like the comparison i could have for what's going on in your head right with probably what decision to make you're probably really overthinking it well i don't want to say overthinking it but really thinking hard in this situation confirming that to me with the hermit card right you are in this place of really deep thought self uh reflection of what it is that you want to continue doing on uh doing with your life it almost probably feels like uh cancer you're at a crossroads in your life um probably by your own doing i feel in some cases, some cases, other cases, that probably is like in a sense of where it's just like, do you want to continue dealing with the chaos that's been happening in the workplace? Or do you want to um, wash your hands clean and just go into something else entirely different? Right. And that's just like the decision. It's just like, where do you go? Right. You're this you're right now as the fool. And it's like, you're trying to figure out your relationship with the fool you're trying to see if you want to embrace this fool energy or not and i'm not here to tell you what you should do but i think there is a reason as to why the fool came forward now full disclosure cancer i am completely biased just because the fool is the fav my favorite card in the deck by far right it's the card that i resonate with the most so i'm always going to suggest that to you back the deck energy for this uh deck is the hanged man as well so i am going to say usually the hanged man moment is they look like the fool to anybody else 
right? They commit. It's kind of like committing to a decision in hopes to have a change of perspective that gives you that sun, which she, you see in this imagery, Cancer, she accomplishes. So just leave it like that. Also, Empress card as well. You know, I'm going to leave it though. We're going to close off that row. I feel like you kind of got the point, Cancer, so I'm not going to hone in on it too much more for you and be too much of an annoyance. So let's get into your social interactions for this week, Cancer. Let's see what's going on there. <clears throat> let's see two of cups so positive positive with the four of pentacles so you probably are in this place of where it's just like something's clicking or there's like a connection made there may be some sparks right where it's just like oh this is good this is a comfortable connection right but there's still like this four of pentacles energy where it's just like still kind of holding out a little bit you're still a little bit probably on guard, or I don't want to say on guard, Cancer, but probably just a, in this probably place of indecisiveness as well, where it's just like, okay, is this person going to, be, is this person going to hurt me? Something that came to mind. Is this person worth putting, investing your energy into, investing your pentacles into, right? So uh, let's see. Let's pull some cards on that, Cancer. Let's see uh, how this person feels. <clears throat> Let's see. We have the King of Pentacles. So they're pretty stable energy, Cancer. This is definitely someone that I see as consistent. Um, it definitely does seem to be. They're probably more of a grounding. They serve to be like a grounding presence in your life. And I do see like that you're drawn to that, right? I am... I'm being shown like the image of just like a rock. Um, but they probably... It's such... <laughs> And to, to see that is just so silly but they probably feel like you, you just feel like studied um when you're around their energy so it feels good but then it just again has me wondering so like why you don't um why are you still in still in that four of pentacles energy now you could see that where it's just like you see that as like someone that you it's someone that you see it's worth really investing energy into but what did I say at the beginning of this reading, Cancer? The Magician. The magician steps forward to you. Um, I feel like there's just this, this person... I feel like there's just, like, this person... Um, and I do feel inclined to say... And I know this probably sounds like a cop-out, Cancer. Um, whether they're in your life right now or not, it does feel like I, a person comes into your life that really changes your perspective on things that kind of um inspires you and motivates you in a beautiful way i feel like it's someone that just really feel like it's kind of like finding your person cancer i feel like someone you just match with someone from a very deep soul level right someone that matches your energy right six of pentacles someone that is able to give that equal give and take be just a very consistent stable presence in your life and if you don't have that now i definitely see that coming and manifesting in your life soon because with that magician card as well i see i see you cancer putting in a conscious effort and trying to manifest that and if they're not in your life quite yet temperance card back of the deck energy can we just appreciate how many major arcana are coming out for you cancer temperance card is talking about that balance um also insisted on just having patience right so if, it, if this person isn't in your life right now they're coming very soon don't be impatient right cancer but even when it comes to this connection there's if there is someone in your life that you have this in mind for cancer i would say that um before you just make a decision, you know, I guess it does make sense. You know what you're doing, right? With that four of pentacles, because it is saying like with spirit saying patience, it's like you, you're, you already are practicing patience. If, it, if it's someone that you already know. So you, you know what you're doing in that way. So let's get some final thoughts from your spirit guides, cancer, your ancestors, your, uh, archangels, whatever you choose to believe in eight of cups. So walking away, going, to bigger and better waters or wanting to and having this urge to but where are you wanting to move on from what is the uh place that you're transitioning from in the first place cancer let's see mm -mm. Mm, cards just flying out back of the deck energy eight of cups again <laughs> so definitely walking away from something 
I don't know if you're happy about it. Um, I don't know the clarifiers. I didn't look yet. But um, that is something that came to mind is I don't know if you're happy about it or something that you really want to do. Death card. <laughs> the devil. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like this is more so just like a release. Um, moving on from... I don't usually like to use the word toxic energy just because it's such an overused word. But I feel like you're just moving on, transitioning on from an energy that was is no longer serving you. Now, this could be in terms of a person, right? But I feel like for some of you, it's just in regards, Cancer, to um, just like even like your own relationship and your own habits and behaviors. You're just like, because you're in like this awakening process, you're in this process of really um tapping into your power your potential um you're realizing and you're just kind of just like up improving yourself upgrading yourself you're getting on better routines putting yourself on a schedule cancer you're just really in this place of just self-development character building right ace of pentacles you're really in this place of creation cancer you're i don't know what sparked this passion this motivation but i love it cancer you're really just taking this world um into your own hands and just actively creating and you're not settling for anything but um beautiful creation in your life so i celebrate you for that cancer good job uh, but yeah, that's the cards that I have for you for this week, Cancer. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Cancer, be sure to share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much.